Hey guys, Nick here with Tech Ordeal. In this video, we're gonna install Plex on our Synology and get it running. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is click on Package Center. This is a freshly installed version of Synology here. I went ahead and reset my Synology box. So this is gonna be a nice fresh install of Plex. So let's head down to uh, Plex here. So we're just gonna go to our Package Center, all packages, and let's find the Plex Media Server. We're gonna click Install. So we're gonna wait for that to install quickly. All right, so that finished installing. And as you can see down here at the bottom, a URL was generated. And this is how you get to the Plex web URL. So this is running. Here's a Plex web URL. We're gonna just uh, click on this and we're gonna come back to this in a moment. So we're gonna go back. And let's go ahead and double check our folder settings here. So we're gonna go to file station and here's Plex. So Plex has been generated already. Uh, as you can see, this is the name of my Synology, Mushroom Kingdom. Um, so there's Plex, here's the library, transcoding, and then a bunch of files that come with Plex for some reason. And we're gonna go to library. So you can see here's the application support and other info. Let's go ahead and we're gonna create a new folder. And this new folder, is gonna be called uh, media. And media is gonna hold our data. Let's create another new folder. This one's gonna call be called movies. And now we have our movies folder. So let's go ahead and get a movie in the movies folder. We're gonna go ahead and browse. to our station here. It's gonna ask you for a username and password. And here we go. So we have our Plex that's already shared out. This was auto generated by Plex. So let's go ahead and click on that. As you can see all the files here, we're gonna click on media, movies, and let's go ahead and try to drag our movie there. So we have the eight mile movie. I'm gonna drag it over and put it here and let that transfer quickly. Now that that's done, we have our Plex Media Movies and we have a movie eight mile. So let's go ahead, we're gonna just close that for now. Of course, you can drag the other movies that you want there. I'm going to hit the refresh button and we should see 8 Mile in here now. Perfect. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's go back up to Plex. I'm going to skip this part and I'm going to just uh, skip and accept limited functionality. Of course, you want to make sure if you want to use the Plex uh, services to sign in and um, either pay for Plex Pass or just use the free version, which is fine as well. So I'm gonna click sign in. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to click skip for now. I'm gonna click, got it. I'm gonna just X out of this stuff. I'm gonna name this Plex. Plex, sign out. Allow access outside my home, that's great. Click next. And now we can add our library. So we click add library, click on movies, next. We're gonna browse for our media. It's gonna prompt us for the media. We're gonna head down to uh, volume one right here. Now we're gonna click on Plex. And we're gonna click on media. And we're gonna click on movies. So make sure you stay on the movies path here. Don't click into the file that you want unless it's deeper within, of course. So click on movies, click add, add library. So now it's going to search for these movies. If you want to add a TV show, music, and so on, you can go ahead and do that as well. Of course, just create folders underneath that media folder. We're gonna click next. And we're gonna give this a second to load. All right, guys, so that completed. So for some reason, it got stuck loading for me, so I actually had to come back in here, 
stop the service and then restart it and then opened up the Plex media server and it brought me directly to the uh, area I wanted to see. Um, and as you can see, we got the movies. Movie is loaded, 8 Mile. We can go ahead and click on it, view all the details, hit play. Should start loading up and there we go. And it started playing immediately. So as you can see, it's playing in 1080. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to add them from here, you guys can click on the plus button, movies, TV shows, and add your libraries. All right, so this is a great plugin here from Synology. If you guys want to use uh, this or try Video Station by Synology also, I have a video on how to set up the Video Station. Pretty straightforward as well. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and have a good one, guys.